everyone, Tracy here. I figured since I shared a couple of tips with you on how I organized my carousel in my last video, that I might as well share with you what and how I store my supplies in here. So in this first section, I so store my scissors, and I have it labeled scissors, as I have other people scrapbooking with me, they know where to put everything. And usually in these little drawers, I try to put something that pertains with whatever is up here. Then it's just easier to put stuff away. Well, and for scissors, there's really not too much. So I just, I just threw in some cutouts that I had had. And then in the next section, this is the tip I shared with you before about putting the little dividers in here. And I have my tool, so I have an X-Acto knives, I have some embossing, I have a little screwdriver here. And of course the Tim Holtz um, Distress Tool, and I have that on that little thing there. And then so inside of this little drawer, I have a whole bunch of different sized uh, X-Acto knives, or X-Acto blades. And then in this section, it is pens. So I have pencils and I have some pens and some markers. And then in here, I just have some erasers. And then this is one of those little glue things. Actually, it should be in a different cubby, but I don't know. It's just, it looks like an eraser to me. So it goes in here. And then in this section, I have notepads and I have sticky notes. And when it, somebody had given me these. Or did I buy these ones? I can't remember. And so I put those in there because those are cute. And then another little notepad in there. And then in here, I don't have anything in there. I also have a little sanding block in there as well because it fits nicely. And then in this section, I have my adhesive. So I have um, a glue stick, which I don't use glue sticks, so I don't even know why that's in there. And then one of these um, two-way glue pens, I like those. And then tape, and then an extra adhesive for my ATG. And then here I have some of those little um, sticky dots, or snot dots, I like to call them. <laughs> And then in this last section, I just have some more tools in here for like pliers and stuff like that. This one doesn't have a, a, a tag in here because it, it, it changes. And then I have a little pad back here, a little foamy pad and a little pin. And, and of course, remember my inspiration, that hasn't changed. And then in here, I just have a little bit of hardware that I've picked up if I find something neat. Like, I don't even know where these were from, but I threw those in there. I got some little circles. I got some um, little posts for my post-bound albums. Um, I don't know, a couple little paper clips. And then in the center here, let me move this up just a little bit. In this center part, I just have some rulers. You, I used to keep this in and I took it out because I stabbed myself all the time. Well, it ended back up in there because that's just where I normally keep it. And if I'm in here scrapbooking like my glue gun isn't in here right now it's upstairs my ATG I stick it in here too and then it's just easier to pull out mind you I usually don't put it away every time I use it so so there we go I just thought I would share with you what and how I am storing everything in my carousel so thank you so much for watching and I hope this gives you some inspiration to maybe organize your carousel so thanks again, everybody, for watching, and I hope you had a very creative day today. Bye now.